exactly what caused the problem with Lupe and how they might go about fixing it. At this point, uh, again, I think we're in the early stages of trying to understand it. Um, uh, I think everything that we can do is being done. Uh, the system is good and stable. The crew's in good shape. Uh, all the right folks on the ground are looking at the problem and trying to trying to assess exactly you know, what the what the root cause is and and what our options are to try to continue more moving forward with the flight program. This valve is basically a, a mixing valve, if you will. It helps us regulate the temperature. You can modulate it. It modulates automatically based on what the temperature um, happens to be at that particular time and what we're trying to control it to. And so that, it, it, while it's in the same pump module, it's a different area of the okay. module. Well, the International Space Station uh, has a lot of electric power that runs all the systems on there, and that needs to be cooled. Uh, and you need to regulate the temperature just as you would in a house or car. And uh, it has uh, two redundant uh, systems, and one of them has failed, possibly due to a stuck valve. The fact that no astronauts are in any sort of imminent okay. danger because of this happened. It could be a major job to swap out the part. First of all, they have to, to know that it's the, what part is broken. Uh, I think they're working on that right now. But uh, they have rehearsed these kinds of things many times, so I'm very confident they'll fix it. And the ISS can, can stay in that condition for... They are powering down some of the experiments they've been doing. Um, they're, as far as their environment, their living environment, the living quarters are very comfortable. That's not a problem but they're just uh, being very cautious because they're relying solely on one system right now. And uh, it's working, but uh, you don't want to do that when you're up in space.